This tutorial, I will show you how you can create trigger in MySQL and call using PHP code. Trigger is a uh, call automatically when any database event uh, is performed in your database server. So, to see the uh, task uh, operation trigger, I will modify my product table here and we uh, let another field after expired date. I want to add one and field will be manufacturer ID or menu underscore ID which is entity. Now because new field is added and uh, in manufacturer field there is only one record so I will add another record to show the task manufacturer suppose fresh is my manufacturer name address And contact number. Okay. So there are two reports now, one and two. And uh, product table, just modify the name ID or manufacturer ID. Because two products are from manufacturer one. And one product is from manufacturer two. Okay. Okay. Here, menu ID is the primary key of manufacturer table. That means menu ID is a foreign key for product table. Now I will create a trigger by. Uh, now I will create the trigger to do the operation such as suppose I I want to delete a field from manufacturer table. If I delete manufacturer one, then I don't need to keep any product of manufacturer one. That means when I record or manufacturer information is uh, will be deleted from manufacturer table then product data will be also deleted from the product table. So if manufacturer one will be deleted then manufacturer one's products are here one and three then two products will be automatically deleted by trigger operation and this is the purpose of using trigger. By like subroutine, you can easily create trigger from this trigger option. So, I will first create the trigger and I uh, will apply the trigger using PHP code. So, first choose uh, your company and uh, here, if you don't find the trigger option here, then just click on more. And then you can see the trigger option. Okay, now add trigger and type the name of your trigger. Our trigger operation will be executed after deleting the broker, uh, after deleting the manufacturer ID or manufacturer record. So uh, I will create a after trigger here. <laughs> There are two types of trigger, after trigger and before trigger, and here I am using after trigger. So my trigger name is ad, that's when after delete underscore menu structure or menu to i short form. In short form, I am uh, typing the trigger name as ad underscore menu. After delete 
of vegetables that is manufacture and this is after dinner so I am choosing here after here you can see there, there is another option before so I am selecting after trigger here even after there can be three types of operation insert after delete I am applying here after delete so after delete and uh, now you can write the code of the trigger operation begin begin and uh, after deleting any record from manufacturer if I want to delete the all product records related to the deleted manufacturer then write the code like this delete all delete sorry delete from delete from products where menu underscore ID equal to all dot ID and okay now click go if this message appears that means our trigger is already created so you can see the trigger is created you can modify the trigger here if you need any change by clicking edit the trigger. Now I will uh, write the PHP code to show the action of the trigger. New PHP First of all, grab the database connection. Now I have to delete query to remove record from manufacturer. Delete delete from manufacturer. The ID equal to one. Okay. If I execute the script, then after deleting manufacturer, trigger will be automatically executed and the product will be deleted. Okay, check the operation, save the file with new folder trigger. And keep the name as trigger.php. Okay. Before uh, deleting your code, first check the table value or current status of the table. 
now run the script local host trigger local trigger the file is executed now check the manufacturer table one is deleted and check the product table Two products of manufacturer one ID is deleted. So our trigger, also our trigger is executed properly.